Welcome to the show. Update your policies, MLB. Update your policies. Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. I have a very exciting episode for you today, but before we get into it, I must say that I am dedicating this series all season long to national gossip blogger Ken Rosenthal, because without him and his terrible journalism, I never would have had the idea to make videos like this to connect directly with you, the fans. So if you would like to go behind the scenes of big league life with me all season, in the clubhouse, on the field, in game, on the plane, etc., I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss this or any future content. Off day in Pittsburgh. So, I'm off to go get some sushi uh, for lunch. Haven't really done much today, just laid in bed and watched some stuff on YouTube and caught up on some stuff on Slack with the companies. So, I'm off to get some food and then gonna meet up with uh, Rachel and John later today. And then, I don't know, I might go wandering around the city tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but probably not a whole lot. I don't do a whole lot on off days. rainbow rolls, an Ichiban roll, and some salmon sashimi for lunch for me today. And John is here, so Rachel and I are gonna go meet up with him and chat. Hello. It's been a while. Yep. And you have the fact that pitchers are throwing a lot harder and are a lot smarter and are more ahead of hitters yeah. from a game planning standpoint. So, meeting went well, and I'm gonna go get dinner here in about an hour, but before I do, I'm gonna get outside and at least go for a walk or do some sort of physical activity today, move around. Probably walk on the bridge a little bit because it's a beautiful area here in Pittsburgh, so. It's drizzling. What are the chances that we get caught out in the drizzle? Well, good old Jeff Passy called me, so. Spent some time chatting to him in the rain. Wardrobe change. Gonna go to dinner. We put pants on for the first time today. How sad. Where are we going? We are going to Eddie V's Prime Seafood and Steak. Eddie right. V's, huh? Like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Good morning vlog. Actually, it's afternoon because I woke up at like one o'clock today. So about to head over to the field, but before I do, I was gonna film an instructional video for a friend of mine who's asking about some mechanical stuff and then take a walk over to the stadium. That's the plan for the day. Light day at the field and a lift. Body feels good after the off day yesterday, so we're making progress and getting ready for the next start. It is a beautiful day. Sun is out, beautiful view. I like this walk a lot. You ever get the sense that you're being followed? What's that? Oh, I love the vlogs. Thanks. We'll put you on. All right, cool. Is that a Bruins hat? Boston. Boston. Sorry, okay. I know you're growing, bro. <laughs> yeah, I love, dude, love your vlogs, too. Thank man. you. Appreciate it. There's our bus. I know I'm in the right spot. Just got to figure out what entrance to go in now. I don't remember it well enough to know where I'm going. Just follow the arrows. It says this way. <laughs> All right, here we go to the field. That's how you get down to the field in Pittsburgh. Down these steps down this hallway, up these steps, and we're out. Beautiful stadium. Look at that skyline. It's so cool. All right, we got eight three-quarter poles at a 23-second pace with 55 or 50-second rest in between. Let's get to it. Well, tough conditioning day today. I'm tired. Get a nice, easy throw in. Ball up the middle. Stop pulling it. Jesus, hit the ball fair, for Christ's sake. What do you got for me? Other than I need to command the ball. Like, there's no reason I should walk four guys. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just not like in attack mode enough. I, I just got to command the ball better. Yeah, they're not bad misses. You're just giving the hitter, in my opinion, the right hand hitter especially, too much credit on the outside part of the play. Your just misses should be just misses on the play. Time for a lift and it is about to thunder and rain and I know that because our freaking weight room is outside in a tent and I'm getting rained on. Look at this. Welcome to the big leagues ladies and gentlemen where you get put in a tent on the concourse and get rained on and have to squat on uneven surfaces 
and risk injury because you can't be inside because of the potential for COVID while 50,000 people are sitting next to each other watching a baseball game with no masks, that don't get tested every day, that aren't 90% vaccinated. I mean, look at this squat rack. This is uneven. It's so slanted. I can't do any sort of plyometrics because the ground is soaked. It's all bullshit. Welcome to the show. Update your policies, MLB. Update your policies. Well, I'm about to get swarmed by people. Uh, good game for the... Let's see, how do I get down here? Can we go this way? All right, good game for the Dodgers. Walker Bueller needs to get left on the plane more often. Uh, seven shutty on 92 pitches and two hits. So that's a good night for him. Although he did give up a home run tonight and it's something I've never seen before. Give up a home run and don't get it counted as a run against you because Kebrian Hayes didn't touch first base on a homer. Never seen that before in baseball. You'd think at some point you would have seen everything, but just not the case. So good night for the boys. Five, two, three win. Uh, got a little close there in the ninth but pulled it out. So Mookie slapped the ball over the yard, which is great. And it's a good night for the boys. So hopefully come out tomorrow and get a dub. Getting swarmed by fans on the walk back. It's good though. Good for the kids. Never would have guessed a player would sign after the game. I was sitting with the bird. Thank you very much, Mr. Big fan. Just got done filming the next installment of my Case for a Cause video series. Uh, and it's a special day for the vlog because I'm on my way to get food with one Alex Geiger who is the person who edits the vlogs. So we'll get some behind the scenes information and then Alex will have to video himself editing the part about interviewing himself about editing the video. It'll be like just this whole vlog inception thing. It'll be great. What's up, man? Where are we going? What are you guys in the mood for? This is your city, whatever. I haven't eaten yet, so just get a lot of food. All right, Alex, I got a couple questions for you about the vlog. You're privy to a lot of information that doesn't make it into the vlog. Let's start here. What's been your favorite moment that you've put in the vlog? Oh, you're putting me on the spot here. Um, you can just edit all this out anyway. I know, so. that's what I like. There's no pressure. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate the, the post-game stuff, mainly because like for so many people, that is the that is how so many people see players. And obviously, that's a big reason why you're doing the vlog is to give them a different side. So to see your actual thoughts and everything right after the game when you're talking to the vlog and compare that to what you go and say in the press conference so I get to see like firsthand how you're actually feeling and relay that to the public versus like the traditional route I always look forward to those it's not really like one specific moment but I like I like those yeah that's a that's a good answer actually a very unique answer not many people would have that answer what is uh, your favorite moment that you have not been able to put in the vlog because uh, there's a lot of things that you see that end up not being able to make it in there you have a favorite moment that you're like oh, I wish I could show this but I can't. The few people who got to see the entire negotiation, like for you signing, at yeah. least like on mine, because he was editing mine at the time. And I recorded that entire like 24 hours leading up to it and he got to see all of it. Yeah, that 24 hours it, is it's, nuts. It's like primetime television, but no one will ever be looks, able to see all it of it. It looks like we purposely tried to like script an overly dramatic like free agency, but it was like 100% genuine authentic like this is what happened and that's like no one got to see you know getting to see all of the behind the scenes of that and see everything that went on for those 24 48 hours and ended up basically having to cut 95 percent of it maybe even more and i think honestly i probably didn't fully appreciate what it was at the time just because to me it was it was work and i was trying to meet a deadline but looking back being able to see what it amounted to is crazy yeah uh if anyone was ever able to see the full unedited free agent <laughs> sequence, the, the decision sequence. Like when my career's done, yeah. Yeah, when your career's done. Uh, probably would be good to come out because it was pretty it was pretty crazy. A lot of really compelling stuff in there. What are your uh, social media handles? Give yourself a shout out. Just my first name, underscore last name, Alex, underscore Geiger, underscore. Yeah, Alex is the man. Go follow him. This is an Instagram famous Pittsburgh adventure dog. Like one of them's like Instagram thing. Can I get your picture with him? Do you mind? Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, that's good. Thanks Thank you. so much. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Look at this tongue. <laughs> it's awesome. That dog's cute. On my way to the field, and I have just decided that you, all you people watching the vlog, need to have a name. You need to be identified as something. Like, Chalupa has the Lubinati. What are we going to call the vlog 
members, the people who watch the vlog consistently, what are you guys? Any good ideas? You need to get some comments down here. You need to get some ideas flowing. You need to pick a good name, make some merchandise. Anytime I see someone wearing it or at a game or whatever, say hi, say what's up. We gotta get something going. So leave me your comments, leave me your thoughts. Let's get some good name ideas going. Bullpen time. Gotta work on cutter command, fastball command, curveball command, change of command. Gotta work on command. So that's the plan today. I imagine it'll be pretty good. My body feels pretty good today. I'm in the green, so that's nice. Joe Kelly, birthday boy. You got any birthday celebrations? What do you do for your birthday, Joe? Mm, I got donuts. <laughs> What's your favorite type of donut? Either a uh, maple bar or I like a good apple fritter. Apple fritter, maple bar, solid choices from the birthday boy, Joe Kelly. Thank you, sir. Yep. Appreciate it. I saw your tweet, so I figured you I'd did? come over. Yeah, Can you I did. sign the sign? Yeah, I'll sign the sign. Does someone have a Sharpie? Appreciate it, Trevor. Yep. Trevor, how do you throw a changeup? I'm the wrong person to ask about that because I still can't figure it out. I've been chasing it for 10 years and it sucks. So, best way to throw a changeup is to not throw it and just throw good breaking stuff. Trevor, how do you throw your breaking ball? If you go on YouTube and you type in how to throw a gangster curveball, I explain everything in that video. Let's go. A lot of vlog fans here in Pittsburgh. It's pretty cool. We have fans of the opposing team chanting for you and yelling for you and trying to get autographs and come meet you and stuff. Even when you're on the road, shout out to all you fans on the vlog. Let me know what you guys want to be called. As I said earlier, let me know what y'all want to be called in the, in the comments. Dodgers win two to one. JT with two solo homers and uh, the bullpen came in and shut stuff down. Uh, Gonsolin only made it an inning in two thirds. Vic came in, David Price, Trinan, Kenley. I'm missing someone, Joe Kelly. Just shut it down. Uh, absolutely shut the night. It was great, great fun. Good to see those guys perform. Kelly made a crazy catch uh, to end the game. Cabrian Hayes, one of the best hitters in the league, in my opinion, smoked the ball up the middle and almost took Kenley's head off, but he caught it and that's how the game ended. So. Pretty fun game after a rain delay. Not a whole lot of energy in the stands, but Dodgers got a W. So we got a 12.30 game tomorrow. It's currently 12.07, so it's gonna be a quick turnaround. And uh, yeah, we go home, hotel, eat, fall asleep, probably get like six hours of sleep, won't be great. And then uh, strap it on tomorrow, I guess. So that's where we're at. Oh, it's way too early to be doing anything. So I'm gonna make the bet that we're gonna get rain delayed and I'm gonna throw now and then not lift. Plan that we get rain delayed and I lift during the rain delay. And if I don't lift during the rain delay, I probably won't lift today. There's no good options when you have to wake up to go to the field at 3.30 a.m. Pacific time. Okay. And now we're in an at least an hour and a half rain delay with one out in the top of the eighth inning before a four and a half hour flight. So this is just the worst possible scenario that could have happened today is happening. Well, they called it at uh, 4.30. So we were in a rain delay for about an hour and a half uh, and the Dodgers win. Looks like everyone's clearing out though. So I might be late to the bus if I don't leave. Okay, so work for the plane. That's what we got. We got two phones set up. We got bullpen. So that's bullpen from spring training. I have all my bullpens filmed with the velocity on them and obviously I can see the pitch type and location. So I'm gonna go through all my bullpens. And then over here on the other phone, we have my four app account. And uh, so what you do here is you tag the pitch type, the velocity, the intended location, and the final location. You should check this out. So if this is a fastball, I would say, okay, fastball, and I would slide the velocity, and then I would tag where in the zone I wanted the pitch and where it ended up. I'm gonna log all the data, and then I'll have my analysts go through and I actually be able to give me some insights about like what speed range I need to train at for command so I can get the effect of the command training without having to throw too hard where I get negative effect recovery-wise. So that's the plan. The 4-app um, command tracker makes it super easy to do that, and it gives you insights that like, you can't get anywhere else, which is why I like it. So that's the goal for the plane. I passed out for like two hours on the plane. Fully reclining and 
first class and the pods. It was great, much needed. Good morning vlog. I'm all caught up on sleep. I feel great. I have a nice big box of Topps cards that I need to sign. So I'm just gonna roll through these and get those off to Topps. Sign in blue ink. Tiny little guys. Didn't quite finish, but it is time for some baseball. So off to my real job. Big Poo drove his McLaren, had to show me up. It's pretty sick. Got some Juco Bandit swag. About time I get some Sim. Jesus. I should be a priority. Reigning, defending, undisputed shirt. That'll go over well in the post game press conference. Got a legalized emotion shirt. Big night for the boys on the offensive side. First off, Kirsch shoved. Great outing. Offense put up oh, six two, in the first, none in the second, and then two in the third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, ended up winning like 12 to one or 12 to two or something like that. Just homers, Gavin Lux three run homer, Big Poo homer, Monsey homer. Belly had a couple of hits. Um, unfortunately, uh, it looks like lost a couple more players to injury or at least they had to be taken out of the game as precautionary reasons. So hopefully they're all right, but uh, good night for the boys. Good night. Time to warm up. All right, need some music. the most fun part of start day prior to the start. My guys in the weight room always have a celebration ready for me when I'm done warming up. So I just got done with weighted balls. I'm gonna walk in there. They got something for me. I don't know what it is today. It's always different. So let's check it out. This freaking slingshot is hilarious. Oh man. All right, and some of you probably are wondering uh, why it is that I can carry my camera around when I'm supposed to be getting ready to work. Oh, you should focus on your job. Well, I don't lock in until I get in the clubhouse after all the stuff that I've done here and I put my headphones in, which is what I'm headed to do right now. I like to keep it light, I like to joke around, I like to have a good time to talk to people as I warm up. Once I put my headphones in, that's when I lock in, that's when I walk out to the field, that's when it's game on. Trevor Bauer, 4-0 at home in a 1-6-9. He makes his 14th overall start. Runner goes. Swing and a miss, strike three, throw down, and the runner is safe. One, two to Garcia. Got him again with a breaking ball, and the two, two. And he's just behind Whitmer, keeping the ball in the yard. Strike three, call. Trevor Bauer leads off, and that ball hit on the ground to right field, and he'll be in there. And Bauer will have his first hit. Well, that sucked. Uh, sucks to waste the night that you feel great and have those types of results. So the six and the third, going out for the six, there was six innings, two earned, and I felt pretty good about where I was at. I finally found a rhythm. I was like, oh, I can get seven and two earned runs, and uh, that'll be a great night. And then uh, gave up a, a double and a triple there, and then both those runs scored in the seventh. So six and the third, four earned, uh, eight strikeouts, two walks. <sighs> A tough one to swallow. Baseball's fun when you do well, but as a starting pitcher, when you don't have a good outing, you gotta wait five days to have another one. It kinda sucks. 